five migration reforms from the employment white paper. The paper has five insights on plan changes to the migration system. Insight number one, new occupation list focused on highly skilled migrants. The paper observes that temporary migrants are concentrated in the lower skilled portion of the labour market. It says the focus needed to be more on highly skilled migrants. Number two, reforms to the migration system to help students better transition out of study into areas of skill shortage. This can be seen with the extended graduate visa for some health and teaching graduates. Number three, the paper repeatedly states the federal government has a commitment to preventing the exploitation of migrants. This has been a strong focus of the Labor government. More compliance measures will improve the integrity of the system and will be of benefit to students, working holidaymakers and migrants generally. Number four, reforms to create three main temporary work visas. The reforms are to create the following. The new approach will define three pathways for temporary skilled workers. A fast, simple pathway for specialised, highly skilled workers to drive innovation in our economy and build jobs of the future. That first path sounds a lot like an accredited sponsor that we've currently got. The second one, a mainstream temporary skilled pathway to bring in core skills using an improved approach to determining needs, informed by the advice of Jobs and Skills Australia. That sounds a lot like the existing 482. The third stream would be a further consideration of a regulated pathway for workers with essential skills such as sectors of care and support in the economy. That sounds a lot like labour agreements, like the new aged care labour agreement. So that's the three streams that they're envisioning uh, for temporary work visas. Number five, redefining the points test. In addition to what we've already talked about, there's a table which gives details on changes to skilled migration. It says, it will introduce new permanent skilled settings, including exploring a revised points test. The points reforms could include more points for skilled partners. A more granular system in terms of age points might also be expected. For example, not losing 10 points when someone turns 40. There is also possibly cuts to the regional migration points or regional study points. Please follow us to get all the latest news. Thanks for watching.